John Foss is on location with his trusty Handycam. And if the viewers at home are seeing Cindy and thinking they might recognize her, Cindy, you were on Supernatural. I was on Supernatural. Aww. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You hit your head pretty bad, but you're okay now. It was amazing. I had a great time in that show. That show is still running. Like, that's a... Fantastic. So much fun shooting, working with those guys. Before I destroy the world, let me just grab a bag of curly fries. I love sci-fi. I love horror. My Lisa Braden at the end turning into the demon was really exciting. Jason, you actually directed Seventh Heaven in an episode of that. Before it was the CW when it was the WBs. Whoa! It's not your fault! It is my fault! It's all my fault! I did. Woo woo! Jason, for you, in 2002, you had the, the car crash. What did that do to your career as far as your mindset? That accident and, and, and the time I had to spend recovering from that accident reminded me of how resilient we all are uh, and how strong we all are in dealing with things like that, but also how fragile our lives are and uh, how it can all be taken away in an instant. There is a lot to be said of, of living every day to the fullest and never put off till tomorrow, which you can do today. And I, and I try to live by that credo every day. And you can feel free to pass on this next question, but are you the most popular person in Hollywood right now? Because there was a story that recently came out that you punched Harvey Weinstein. Can you tell us what happened there? And just a little backstory. Uh, well, I mean, you know, they, 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 there's not there's not really much to there's not really much to say about it. I, you know, Harvey and I had a run in at a party, and and um, uh, and and you know, there was a there was a there was a physical altercation, and. Um, and I ended up punching out Harvey at his own party, um, but uh, but you know I, I I don't want that to 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 overshadow any of the and any any of the real issues that are going on with Harvey. And I, I think that the I think that the women's stories that 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 Harvey is being uh, implicated in are are far more relevant to 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 this story than 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 my situation with Harvey. So I would. I would I would rather that the that the light be shone on those uh, stories than on than on my uh, than on my situation with Harvey. So I would I would rather we spend our time uh, focusing on 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 the women's stories because I find them far more relevant. Very true. But I bet there are a couple women out there that might want to like thank you or give you a high five or something. But hey. <laughs> Well, if they if, if they want to give me a high five, then uh, uh, you know uh, uh, just raise their palm and I'll give it a slap. about private eyes. Procedural detective show that Sydney and I uh, star in. I need help. I play a character named Matt Shade, ex-professional hockey player who decides to uh, change careers and uh, become a private investigator. He partners up with a character named Angie Everett, played by Sydney Sampson, uh, who's a very, uh, very by the book. Comedy is a very big part of this show. You ever think of a maid? You ever think about keeping your opinions to yourself? Dying is easy, but comedy is hard. Get in, I'll explain on the way. Slow down, Richard Gere, okay? You can't afford me. We laughed. Yeah, we did, we laughed. We were laughing within the first two minutes of yeah. meeting each other. Yeah, that's true. Still doing it. Yeah. Okay, thanks, thanks, John. John.